Sometimes when we render interior scenes or any scenes using OpenGL and Heliodons for example or other light sources, the rendering can appear too dark or too dark in certain areas. Here are some examples from the exercise file included with this chapter. Here's a, an exterior isometric rendered in OpenGL. Here's an exterior perspective view in OpenGL. Here's an interior view rendered in OpenGL. And here's another interior view, this time in Final Quality RenderWorks. For renderings created with RenderWorks, not OpenGL, we can improve the brightness of the scene using a variety of means, including indirect lighting, environment lighting, and other methods that we described earlier. These can be very effective, but they can also result in very long rendering times, so they're not always the best solution. And with OpenGL, we can get dark areas that can't be improved at all with these other methods because they only work with RenderWorks. In all of these cases, we can increase the brightness pretty easily by using ambient lighting. Ambient lighting is a form of non-directional lighting that adds brightness uniformly throughout a scene. It doesn't come from any particular direction and it doesn't point toward any direction. It just adds light everywhere in the scene and increases the overall brightness of the image. So going back to the examples we just saw, here's that exterior isometric rendered in OpenGL with ambient lighting added. And here's an interior view rendered in Final Quality RenderWorks with ambient lighting added as well. And note that we've added ambient light here and not environment lighting which would have produced better results although longer rendering times. To add ambient lighting we go to the Lighting Options dialog box, go to View Set Lighting Options, and then we go to the Ambient Info part of the dialog and turn Ambient on. Now we can adjust the brightness of the scene by moving the brightness slider. We can see the changes immediately when we're rendered in OpenGL, but just keep in mind that in RenderWorks, the changes take a bit longer to see because they only happen after we click OK. In the next chapter, we'll take a look at another feature of the Lighting Options dialog box that adds a bit of realism and definition to OpenGL renderings and also to some RenderWorks images as well, and that's ambient occlusion.